welcome back i am anuradha mudak and today i am here to discuss about twin flame journey which is a journey from ego to the spiritual awakening this video is only about the spiritual awakening aspect and the alchemical changes the being chooses in a certain lifetime so if we study and uh, discuss there are different cultures which have distinctive evidence about twin flames so if we study the romans the greek egyptian or even indians there are distinctive such evidence about the existence of twin flames through the god and goddess and the pairing of those god and goddess and how they attend mutual balance together so there are examples like shiv parvati radha krishna and even the relationship between the guru and shishya like jalaluddin rumi and his guide there are all the evidence of the twin flame in existence and how they really harness their energy towards balance and create the unified consciousness within themselves so there are various means a soul takes through in a particular lifetime as a path of their own awakening some of them they choose a near death experience some of them choose severe accidents and there are other categories of people like the yogis who choose yogic means for their own spiritual awakening all of this apart all of these only the yogis who choose their path for spiritual awakening they are taking that decision through conscious effort rest all of them those who get into near death experience or even accident they all get into the situation of awakening through accidental process everything in the universe is all about energy there is no doubt about that your energy or frequency at a particular time in the 3d world reflects in the kind of material the kind of beings in your surrounding because you are projecting in all of that the energy and the frequency of being is measured in the karmic baggage or the account a certain person carry over different lifetimes and that's one of the reason we take birth in certain family because of the kind of energy we carry over different lifetimes this is also linked with how we are linked with our ancestor there are energy links which we carry through our ancestor and we live through the same genetics and follow the same matrix if we do not take any conscious decision in our lifetime to bring a shift in our life so we carry these energy unconsciously at our subconscious state of mind and all of that impact together the universal subconscious mind which is nothing else but the akashic record now as soon as the being take the responsibility of shifting the subconscious nature and create better belief set and perception get more tuned with the divine flow the akashic records also shift simultaneously so karma by nature is the energy which is there in the thoughts words and further in the action creating a certain feeling and a certain level or state of mind in a person's experience which can be good bad or ugly based on how you perceive all of that in a twin flame journey as the twin experience the separation 
the being get into a soul pain experience the twin comes from the same energy level of the soul of the person the vibrational frequency of the soul is said to be very similar in the very beginning of its own journey and as a result they carry deep energy body state together or similarity in the energy state body a being is not only about the kind of physical body or the mental state of the mind which the being carries apart from that we have multiple layers we have layers in our body with the body the physical gross body emotion mind and further the kind of effect and impact to our astral body and the spiritual body which is the main energy source or the soul of the body all of that is deeply impacted in this journey of twin flame the twin as as a responsible pair helps to ignite the fire within you and that's why they are the twin flame they are the flame in pair and they help you to understand the rules of the 3d matrix so all of this it works in two types of energy there are two types of energy which exist within us and within the 3d matrix and that is about the masculine and the feminine energy so everything in the 3d matrix exists in polarity polarity means the opposite now because of this nature of opposite or opposition between the things we do not understand or we fail to see the unified consciousness which is the connecting link between everything so the polarity is there between masculine and feminine polarity of day or night love or hate you pick up anything in the 3d world and it exists as a part of polarity as soon as you understand the nature of polarity and allows to break it you are able to get to a more higher level or stage of consciousness so in this journey as the soul entered the dark night of the soul with the realization reflection and the able to contemplate in the overall journey of life they slowly start to understand the rules of the game and they start working on inner work which is understanding the self at a very very ground and basic level apart from inner work which is more of loving yourself more deeply you will find there are different other shamanic practice which are known as shadow work also been practiced all across at in different levels in culture for understanding the self and accepting the self at a better level the shadows are the dark part in the personality and it exists within us because we were not able to heal ourselves when we are in pain the kind of pain is actually experienced in our ego state of the body so soon as when we learn to heal ourselves the ego state of the body get more distance from us and we really able to see the higher consciousness and experience the higher consciousness in a better way apart from these two in indian tradition and method you will find the there is a practice of sadhana 
sadhana is nothing else but consciously practicing and understanding about the set of energies which we hold as vikriti or complete opposition to our own self so which include all set of those negative emotions which we hold inside us through insecurity pain anger frustration anxiety and you name it and all of that and we start working all of that one by one layer by layer and accepting and then moving up to the next level of the ladder as we keep on moving and working on the self we develop a high level of confidence within ourselves it's not only about seeing the positive within us but even acknowledging and accepting the negative when we learn to accept the negative or any kind of situation wherever we are able to reach we move to the next level of our own manifestation much easily if you are trying to manifest this is one of the core reason to even check your own acceptance level in the given surrounding many times we do not feel comfortable we just want to get rid of the situation and that's the reason we want to manifest so keep a check how comfortable you are in the given surrounding with the kind of gratitude in your attitude this helps to understand your ability to accept the situation the life your own energy wherever you have reached because wherever you are right now you have created it based on your past energies in the usual part of this journey there are many impacts of external force or situation on us for example planetary motions every planet carry a certain vibration frequency and energy which impact humans at different level based on their own karmic baggages and energy now the moment we consciously work on our own energy system balance out our own energy system and accept ourselves in a better way we do not get into the triggers impacted by the planetary motions or the situation through the rahu mahadasha or ketu mahadashas or eclipse full moon new moons and many other such cosmic activities we learn to be more balanced and neutral in a given situation and learn to navigate and sail through it more comfortably now this journey is not just about uh, manifesting union and so on but apart from all of that in the 3d world this journey is about at a very very core level to see you in the highest possible light and connect yourself with everything being and every characteristic which is there in your surrounding which is nothing else but your own spiritual awakening So in this journey we we do experience a great lot of shift at our body level the body start working out at different manifestation level because it's also a kind of projection of thoughts now i'm not talking about getting into exercise and uh, doing a physical regime that's also very very wonderful but i'm just explaining about how your mental level of thoughts also do impact the kind of body which you carry so there is a shift in your body level apart from that the kind of food which you eat there is a drastic shift in the kind of food which we like and do not like and the kind of energies 
which shift with the choice of the food which we choose when we shift our dimension. So the choice of food changes, our emotion level changes and we do not get affected by the kind of triggers and we are more conscious at every possible level about how we are navigating in the 3D. As a result of that, we are not just playing the role as previously in the part of the journey as victim, but we are the conscious creator. Now, there are many twin flames who are also light workers who propagate and share light with the world. And as a part of their journey, they experience traumatic pain in their life. So this journey is extremely meaningful to meet yourself, to be the light and share the light with the world and never lose hope because this is about shifting your own conscious level and how your mind also shift towards yourself and in your parallel universe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful life. Take care.